and Leos, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot, and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's going on for Leos this week? What's happening for Leos? Page of Wands, exploring, traveling, getting out there, seeing life, following your curiosity. It's very beautiful energy. I feel like you need this. I feel like this week you're going to be getting out of your like shell or out of your comfort zone. Success to happen, but it's like you're going to be somewhere you've never been before in order to get it. I keep hearing explore, explore, like you're an explorer. You need to go exploring. Now I'm hearing Dora the Explorer. Um, maybe your name's Dora. Dory, Dora. The Hanged Man, Six of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So again, you need to get out of what you're currently looking at. Like you need to look at something different or look at a different landscape, see the world, see things differently. Shut one eye, turn your head. I don't know. There's something where you need to look at something differently. If you're working on something and it, you're not sure if it's working, turn around. Turn your head upside down. I don't know. Just look at it from a different perspective. Metaphorically as well. Obviously not just physically. This is a metaphor more than anything. Looking at things differently. Seeing the bigger picture also coming through. Um, so take some time away from a project or work or something that isn't going your way this week. Come back. Look at it with fresh eyes. Because I think you might get a little bit caught up in details or in worries around something. Like, like um... You might be quite perfectionistic and you're like, oh, this isn't working, this isn't working. But you end up messing something up more by trying so hard when you should take a break, go make a drink, come back. And it's it's all going to flow a lot nicer. Um, Six of Swords here, flow a lot nicer. Moving into calmer waters, um, going with the flow instead of, it's almost like um, instead of paddling upstream, you'll be paddling downstream this week. If last week was a bit chaotic, this week is going to be a lot more calm. It's just moving into calmer waters, calmer times. Uh, some of you are going on holiday. I don't know why it's coming through. It's almost like it's almost like um, actually my sister's Leo and she's just gone on holiday. That's funny, but I feel like you're gonna go on holiday or it's gonna at least feel like that. It's gonna feel like oh time off, time away, time you could be on a boat. She's on a boat, but um, nine of wands. Also, there's a little bit of like protection energy around you of you needing to protect yourself or feeling like feeling as if you need to protect yourself. I'm not sure what from. Let me check. What are you protecting yourself from, Leo? A soulmate? A union? A person? Uh, so maybe the person you are in a relationship or someone that you've recently met, a situationship or someone you're dating or about to date, you've got a bit of a wall up or something. It's always like, I don't know why I'm seeing someone has like a, a wall half up, but you duck behind it. Like, ah. And then you come out and then you go, nah, nah, I'm not ready. So this is almost like, I feel like you've started revealing yourself and then fit again. I don't know what this has to do with anything apart from maybe the advice would be, I don't know why I'm getting all in or all out. Like if you're going to open up to someone, I feel like fully commit because this is a soulmate and it could just be a friendship. This doesn't have to be romantic. Maybe you have a friend in your life that you kind of, um, you're like teetering on the edge of going deeper, of like getting to know each other properly or just being like casual friends instead of best friends, instead of going deep and talking about the important things or what you find important at least, like what's important at the end of the day. But it's just like, you're teetering on the fence of, can I trust this person? Can I not? Can I trust this person? Can I not? And I feel like with the two of cups here, this is a soulmate of some kind, friend, lover, doesn't matter, but this is someone you can trust and open up to. And they will look at things from your perspective if you're worried they'll disagree or they won't see it from your perspective, that's not a problem at all. They've been there. That's what I'm getting come through. They've been there too. Even if in a different way or something, they get where you're coming from or they're willing to try and understand it, especially with the hangman. They will try and put themselves in your shoes and see things from your point of view. King of Swords as well. Communicate. Communicate. You have nothing to lose from communicating with someone and everything to gain. Like... How are you going to gain understanding of someone without talking? Like, right? So there's something where you need to talk more or listen more. But I feel like for you, it's talk more. You might listen a lot to other people. And it's time for you to be actually be speaking. I 
Eight of Wands, talk more. Eight of Wands, communicate, funny, funny. Eight of Wands is fast communication and I'm just, I just got communication brings understanding. There you go, that's kind of what I was trying to say earlier, but that makes a lot more sense. Communication brings understanding and if you don't communicate how they're going to understand you or where you're coming from or what you've gone through or why, why you are the way you are, with the lovers coming out with it as well. So a lot of you, this is romantic. This is a union with someone, but the only way you're going to get closer is to kind of get to know each other better. And I feel like you kind of like, oh, hide. Um, I feel like you might be talking about light subjects, but you kind of are drawn to go deeper or to tell them about your past in some way, but you're like, oh, when's a good time? And it's just like, I don't know why I'm hearing it's now or never. Delicious ice cream from Italy. Maybe you're from Italy or this person is. But it is now or never, just like life's so short. If you want to say something to someone, just say it. If you want to bring a topic up, but you're like, oh, how are they going to take it? Just say it. A lot of our ideas, our epiphanies, our, just our thoughts in general, where are they coming from? And if you don't share them, they're just going to like buzz around in your head until you do. Or even write it down if you actually, if you genuinely don't want to tell someone. But um, there's nothing wrong with telling anyone, whatever this is. I feel like it would be accepted. What else? Queen of Cups. You're very, very, very loving and caring to everyone, but I feel like you forget about yourself. Queen of Cups is very, very giving, and I feel like she forgets to nurture herself a little bit, personally, whenever I see her. But you're learning. You're learning to look after yourself, and I feel like someone else is kind of teaching you as well that that's beneficial for you. And not that you need anyone to teach you this, but it's... Somebody is helping you gain more of like a self-care attitude. I feel like you kind of put that on the back burner for a bit. You might have been used to it in the past, but I don't know. I don't know what your story is. It's just like you forgot about yourself or something. Um, but you're going to start investing more love and care and warmth into you this week. And then I just see you pampering and doing face masks and stuff. It's But it's silly, but it's not because it's like teaching yourself that you deserve to be pampered and that you can put free time into you. You don't have to constantly be producing something or making money in any way. What else? What else is coming through? I was going to say Scorpio for Leo. Ten of Swords reversed. Something isn't done. And it landed on the Page of Wands. So Page of Wands was your first card out. And I said about you exploring and you traveling and you going places and seeing new things. Maybe you feel like your time of traveling is done or over. Like you're like, eh, I'm not bothered about it or I'm too old or I just don't have the money. It's not done yet. There's actually Ten of Swords reversed would be like, Ten of Swords upright would be like, oh, it's the end of that. And you're going to go into a new phase of your life now. But Ten of Swords reversed is like, that's not over. You actually have more to do. More to travel, more to see, more to learn, more places to go, more people to see um there is more there is more and and with that com might come a tiny little bit of pain but it, it will be worth it. it will make sense there's a journey to go on and there's the yin to the yang pain comes pleasure there's like this there's an other side to it that um like nothing's perfect but there is a lot of good stuff to come from this ten of pentacles coming out ten of pentacles is stability can be financial can very much be financial, but it doesn't have to be. It's just about you being abundant in this physical world. And materialistically, you're not worried about how to get by. Ten of Pentacles, this week, you are very, or will be, very much safe and secure in your environment. Uh, if you've been worried, it's looking good. It's looking like you'll have more than enough. You don't need to, um, it's almost like you're worried about this, but you have no need to be because it's here. For this to show up at all means it's on your mind in some way, so it's almost like this is long term also with someone. Like this is the long term family. Building a legacy with someone that will last generations. It's a very beautiful card and we have the lovers here and we have the two of cups, so there's a lot of union. A lot of union. If you've recently met someone, I think it actually could last a very long time, even if it's just a friendship soulmate. You, you could move in with them and live with them as friends. I don't know, this thing about having someone with you forever. I'll get you one more card. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. They'll also pull their weight. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, you are also very good at making a beautiful home for yourself. No matter where you are, you seem to make it look like home. Even if you're in a tiny little hut, even if you're living in a shed, 
You somehow make it look like a beautiful home and you make everything into gold. Six of Pentacles, this person is equal give and take. So whatever you do, they will give back. Maybe you do different things. Maybe you make the house beautiful and they look out the outside. Whatever it is, you keep up your end of the deal or the bargain. Because I feel like there's something about a house here. The Ten of Pentacles can be a house and a home. And Queen of Pentacles is someone very introverted that likes making your house and everything around it more beautiful. And Six of Pentacles is that being balanced with someone else. So it's like you're both pulling your own weight. You're both investing into a house or something. You're both giving what you can give in order to get the best that you can get. Um, it's very balanced. It's not like, oh, they're taking you for a... It's not like they're trying to use you for your money or vice versa. It's like you both have invested equally or will. You both have equal... like to give and even if it's not monetary monetary it's almost just like with your potential and the career and the success that you're going to have with that you are going to be completely balanced and fair with your time as well this can be time time is money this can be your time you equally give each other your time even if it means putting other things on hold it's like you're skipping the queue for each other if you have like a booked i don't know i'm seeing someone has like a booked schedule and you're like crossing someone's name off and penciling this person in instead i don't know it's very strange but you and this person are very busy I don't, very strange uh i'm gonna wrap your reading up here thank you so much for watching if anything i said resonated please let me know by liking and subscribing and i'll see you next tuesday for tiny total tarot tuesdays <laughs>